Okay, we're going to self-graft a little tomato. Um, this is just showing you a tomato that's about the right size. Could be a little smaller. Um, ours are getting pretty big pretty quick. But this is the tomato that we saved the seed from Outpost. So it's really just a tomato to practice with. So we planted them up. They look good. Here I want to show you a couple parts of the plant. Here is the cotyledon. Overall, we're going to want to get rid of that in our graft. So both the rootstock would be cut below the cotyledon and the sign will be cut above the cotyledon. And because we're doing a self-graft, we should assume that this is a pretty good match size-wise. So I'm going to just jump in and show you how this works. Um, get all your tools together. These are the grafting clips we're going to use from your little packet. If you didn't get those, please call. But the grafting clip really looks like this. So that big round tube that you have in the grafting kit, or this particular clip, is so that you can put that little straw-like stake in. The clip itself is here, and I'll try to get to show how that really needs to be pushed to open up. And a big part of choosing your grafting clip is does it actually fit on your plant? It wants to be very snug, but also actually fit. And these two millimeter clips are about right, and I do like for the kind of grafting we're doing, I like that it has that little stake where you put the straw through, or the little hole. Okay, so we're gonna just jump in and see how this goes. Um, you'll want your razor blade ready. I do want to show you that there is a little tool that's available for people who want to graft a little more precisely. If you look really carefully at this, there's a little line that'll show you the orientation of where you put the plant. Then you just line up the plant at that angle and it'll automatically you know, cut what you want. We're not gonna use this. It's not actually that great. I think when you get good at it, the razor blade is just fine. So we'll grab our razor blade, go ahead and do our first cut, and I am aiming to cut just below the cotyledon and cut at that 45 degree angle. I like it a little actually longer because then you have more chance for the vascular tissue to connect up. So this is our practice graft. Do our angle, there you can kind of see. I'll try to show you where you can really see it. Um, that's a little uh, closer to a probably a 30 degree angle. So again, you can kind of see that's a good cut. But now this is just a self graft. So now we want to match that angle exactly. We're going to get rid of the cotyledons. They're not going to be there, but at least when you're cutting, they'll be out of your way. Okay. So I took off the two top leaves um, and you're left with something that you're going to graft that looks like this. That's plenty of tissue to work with and it also helps because now the plant won't have to provide as much moisture to all those extra leaves. Okay, so now again, I can look at my angle and match it really carefully here. Okay, so I'm gonna match that angle. This just takes a little practice. Okay, so that's pretty close. If I had to do it again, I could, but I think that will work. Now you set your um, tube, grafting tube, carefully on that site. So you have to kind of balance that and get it really tightly on there. Sometimes you'll have to kind of go in over the top. Okay, and you want that to be about halfway down so that will really hold. I'm going to turn it a little sideways so when you get your cyan in there, it's really protected well. Okay, and then we just take our cyan and carefully match that up to the same angle and slide it in. You'll often have to kind of pinch it a little bit to open it. And then slide it in there so they're just tied up against each other. This gets a little tricky, you can tell. Okay, so now they should be tight. I can kind of check the angle. Okay, I'm going to just see something here for you. All right, a little hard to see on your side, but what you want is a really good, strong connection. Um, you can see over here, you can barely tell the difference where they're touching, so there's no big space. Um, and that's pretty decent. We wouldn't want any air in there and we really want it to um, tightly connect. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and let that one go just for the demo today. We're gonna put our little extra stake in there. Okay, that'll help hold up the plant. And then we're gonna have our bag all ready. The bag will go in just this way and they're pretty tough. So if you've set that well, it should be okay. 
Then go ahead up to the top and it fits pretty tightly. So again, this should be able to go up to the top. You can use one of your rubber bands to hold that in place. Okay. You'll also, after you've moved it around a lot, really double check that you haven't done any damage because you still have time to reset that. Mine looks like it moved a little bit, so I think I'm gonna actually go in. Kind of rough on it while I'm videoing here. Go in, reset it. You can tell mine moved off kilter a little bit there, so I'm gonna just push it back down nice and tight. And I think I reset that pretty well, okay? Now, I do have it staked um, with the original information, but I did put a separate stake that says self-graft, and that'll tell me what I did with this just to watch later on. Now I'll put the bag, dribble in a little water on the top. I don't have that handy with me. You could either mist with the mist or just add some water for humidity, and then um, close up the top. And now is when you put this or any of the grafting ones you've done into kind of a darkish place. It doesn't have to be in a closet or anywhere, but somewhere warm and somewhere where you know that it's a little bit dark. So I put mine when I did it right near a vent and I made a little area so it could stay warm. One other note that I should probably tell you ahead of time, it's really good to water the plant that you're gonna be grafting, um, the rootstock that you're gonna graft it, water it pretty well the day before you're gonna graft. And that's important because when you actually come to grafting day, you don't want it so wet that it's pushing water too hard into the stem. And you also don't want it so dry that this plant is gonna be looking for water right away. So again, usually the suggestion is to water um, basically the day before you have a planned graft. So if you haven't done that and they're bone dry, go ahead and water it and wait till tomorrow. If you watered it just this morning, you could again um, wait or you could give it a try and see how it goes. But there's our simple self graft. It's essentially the same procedure if you're gonna go to a true graft on your rootstock. But I do want you to know that the estimino has kind of a low height of the cotyledon, but I do still want you to try to go below the cotyledon. I'll try to do another video to show you with a true rootstock and a true scion, but here is the self-graft, and I really encourage you to test your system out, get everything together, and try it once with the self-graft. That's it.